I was flunking out of college. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I hope none of you can relate. <laughs> I had a 1.7 grade point average. I was sitting in my mother's beauty shop. They still call it beauty shop now? Nah, what they call it now? Yeah, I was sitting in the beauty parlor. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor and I'm looking in the mirror and I see behind me this woman under the dryer and every time she looked up, she, every time I looked up, she was looking at me, just looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was and I said, you know, she said, somebody give me a pen, give me a pencil, I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975, she said, boy, you are gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Now mind you, I flunked out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know what I was gonna do and she's telling me I'm gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world and I have spoke to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing, the success that I had. The most important thing is that what she taught me and what she told me that day has stayed with me since. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. Fail big. That's right. Fail big. You only live once. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances professionally. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big, but remember, Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. I try to give myself a goal every day and understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. And in this text tweet, work world that you've grown up in <laughs> remember just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done remember that just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done don't confuse movement with progress my mother told me, she said, yeah, because you've been running place all the time and never get anywhere. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.
Bosch garage right now try to put this uh, generator in one of the mechanics kindly agreed to help me out see what's gonna happen next what I just what I've just done just to move all the cables to battery side of the vehicle and then mount this uh, relay Maybe temporary for now. As the uh, guy from from the garage required, as he required. So everything is um, roughly connected. All I need to do just tidy up and. Uh, and um, switch into the cab yeah that'll do for now and that's why I need it. this guy to actually to guide me through
have a problem because I kind of rushed the job and uh, my fuse blown I just put some wire across it and let's see what's happened melt it right through it was so much current going through that it couldn't cope with it so plan B we're gonna get the fuse holder again and uh, rewire this one. Yeah, back to the shop. Filter out fuses. <laughs> 